Hello there. Well, wow. <laughs> that was an interesting story. Oh yeah. Hello there. Welcome to uh, my first uh, yaps or talks video. I decided I wanted to start to make these videos because while I was watching other people do these, I started to get inspiration to talk about things of my own. And I'm not just trying to jump up onto the sort of tr the trend that's happened. No, I actually want to you know find things I want to talk about. And well, no, one of the things I want to talk about is uh, ancient carrots. Because I grew up in the 90s. I was born in the 80s and uh, I remember watching 90s cartoons. People might remember... I'm gonna just put that away. Oh uh, yeah, people might remember Darkwing Duck. Here in Sweden, it was a show that was uh, aired between 1993 in September to 1994 in November. It was, you know, aired a few years after it was shown in Burgerland, aka USA. And the thing I remember was that the show managed to get to 50 episodes before it was pulled off the air due to getting complaints from parents that it was too violent. And one funny thing was that there's been a lot of people that have questioned this, including me. Because if you look at it objectively, it, it doesn't make any sense why they would ban it, considering that despite Darkwing Duck having some violence, it was much more, you know, cartoony violence and shit. In the way that they uh, were using uh, sort of props. They were using uh, toys and other things. There was very few actual guns or swords or any of the typical violent implementations that you had that would show actual violence. And I made a list of a few of the cartoon series from the time that were shown either at the same time as Dark Duck was or before or after or a mix of both all of them and one of them was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or in the UK Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles due to the BBC's neuroticism about ninjas and how they were like destroying society and shit so hey babies hey babies no, no that was just my cat walking past so it's funny that uh, this series, the original one, was uh, shown between 1987 and 1996. So a good chunk of time before and after Darkwing Duck was shown in Sweden. And it was more violent in the way that they actually had weapons. And not in the UK entirely due to the stupid neuroticism against ninjas so uh, anyone that remember that remember that here, was it um, I think it was Raphael Raphael had a sort of weird hook thing on us a, a rope he was supposed to have size which were like the, the sort of shrunken down uh, tridents that you can hold in your hand funny enough those were based on actual farming tools. Pretty much all of the ninja weapons that we use normally were based on farming tools, except, you know, the odd exception of uh, Leonardo. Yes, sorry. He was his actual swords. But yeah, the, the point is that that series had a lot more violence, but it was allowed to air. And it was also allowed to air not just during the time, but also before and after. And it also had several series following that, which just shows how absurd it is. And then you have uh, Spider-Man, the animated series, which is one of the best 
animated series or cartoon series of all times. That was also really violent in some ways. Like, one episode I really remember was... Ah, oh, sorry, now I'm <laughs> confusing it with Batman. No, but uh, I, I remember that I watched it. You need to just... No, nothing. Spider-Man the Animated Series. I just don't remember it. Exact episodes. The episode I was going to mention was Batman, the animated series. Which, funny enough, was an episode where Clayface made a sort of small girl and tried to lure Robin with it. But the small girl gained sentiency and later on got absorbed by Clayface. That was a bit, you know, fucked up, if you think about it. How they basically killed off the character by removing her entire existence, despite you know, how brief her existence was, it still was an existence. But yeah, now I'm getting ahead of, it, ahead of myself. Spider-Man the anime series was shown between 1994 and 1998. And then we have X-Men, which was not just a bit controversial because of it was a bit violent. It was also controversial because of the topics that it sometimes talked about. Topics that are from probably not really the best things to talk about if you want to keep your YouTube channel in good condition. But yeah, th this series was between 1992 and 1997. So it predated the Darkwing Duck series, at least here in Sweden, with two years. Well, at least, you know, one to two years. Then we have Wiley Coyote, which is another one on my list, and another one I saw when I was a kid. This one was violent in the way that. It had pretty much really hyped up cartoon violence. And not just, you know, Wile E. Coyote pretty much dying from falls, being crushed to death by anvils, being blown up by dynamite and bombs. It was, you know, pretty explicit. There was, just, there was no gore, there was no decapitations, no lost limbs. But it was still, you know violent in certain ways and yet this series was allowed to be aired and no one bat an eyelid and now we come to one of the most violent ones in my short list and i made the list short because most of the series that we have in uh, in the, when it comes to 90s and 80s cartoons, most of them are more violent than uh, Dark Duck. So, if I made a list of every cartoon that was more violent than Dark Duck, it would take maybe an hour due to how many <laughs> cartoon series there were. And that's not even counting anime and shit. Which I'm mentioning now. You know, Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon was released in Sweden between 1996 and 2004, so it was a bit after Darkwing Duck was banned. And there was two episodes that I remember watching that were really violent. One of them was an episode where there was this guy in the park that was defending a girl against another girl, because you know, all of the women were both the main antagonists and protagonists. And this guy got really fucked up in a way that he got impaled through the chest with multiple large spears and died. So it was like impalement, blood in that episode. And then you had another episode which was a giant tree that flew through space. And the tree got bored. So it created humanoid characters which was all cute and stuff for a time, 
but then the humanoid characters started killing each other. So the tree had a bit of a meltdown, and it uh, decided that it didn't like the things it created, so it killed off the ones that didn't get killed off by each other. So in the end, there was like only two of them left, and then you know stuff happens, drama happens, and during one point of this the episode. The tree tries to attack the two that are left, and uh, there's like a boy and a sister. So the boy sacrifices himself to save his sister, and he gets horribly impaled and dies shortly afterwards. So while it, there's like no gore, while there's no uh, nothing like that, it's still pretty violent. And this is a series that was green lighted. It was, it was given the thumbs up. It was okay in Sweden. And then we have the other series that uh, isn't really a series itself, but it's part of uh, the, the Simpsons. For those who don't know, I'm guessing it's very few people. It's the Itchy and Scratchy show. And the, the reason why I mentioned that is because that was pretty much among the most violent cartoon series that I can even think about. Because not only does it have deaths, but it has like horrible deaths, violence, decapitations. There's parts where Itchy like mm. literally rips the skin off. Scratchy. Or is it reversed? I don't remember. Whatever. A lot of really messed up shit happens. And that was totally fine. So it's really comical how these Karens... They uh, complain about that, oh no, Dark Duck is so violent. But there's like so many things, there's so many series that were more violent. Hell, even Star Wars was more violent. I remember on my street, it was me and a few other kids that we had sticks. These, uh, the way you could buy from the wood, wood shop, you know, the hardware store. And we would take paint and paint them and make them look like lightsabers. Then we would, like, attack each other, have dues of these painted lightsabers and this was something I did when I was like seven years old because back in the 90s the TV uh, channel TV3 or I think it was no it was probably TV3 uh, yeah it was back when the, we had so few TV channels they numbered them back then it was common for them to have reruns of the old Star Wars episodes, you know, the original series. So I grew up watching the original series. And this was, you know, mid 90s, I think early to mid 90s. So even that was more violent, a lot more violent. And despite that, it was still totally fine to show on TV. So it's funny how they pretty much singled out Darkwing Duck when it comes to violence. And th this is not the, the earliest of the complaints about TV series, you know, cartoons and stuff being violent. There were complaints about that even back in the 60s. But it was about different cartoon series. But yeah, I think that was my point of the video. I'm just, you know, slightly annoyed that they did that due to how many more violent things that were shown on the TV. But they chose that one, and I still remember that. Because I grew up there. But yeah, I think that would be 
enough because I can go on and on about this, but I doubt anyone wants to watch a two hour long video about me ranting of weird people and complaining about that they closed down one cartoon series when there was like 20, 30 cartoon series that were worse. So yeah, thanks for watching and take care of yourselves and until next time, have a good one.